ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் Does Vaikuntam has have several planets in it? Does Vaikuntam, Goloka, Sakirdham, Sakirdham, these are all, are these different or are they same? Are all of these together called as Nitya Bhuti? That is the question. The question about Sri Vaikuntam. Um, we have certain references for narration and description about Vaikuntam. For example, how one ascends to Vaikuntam. That is explained in Kaushidiki Upanishad. There is also Vishnu Purana which explains about how Vaikuntam looks and how things are there. We have Sri Vaikuntha Stavam by Kura Talwan, Kuresh Swam. Bhagavad Ramanuja has given Sri Vaikuntha Gadhyam. These Granthams, we have good narration about Vaikuntam. So we understand that Vaikuntam is a place which is very beautiful, which is huge. It is generally said that it is three times bigger than this Samsara, Bhuloka. Not just Bhuloka, sorry. The whole material realm, the whole Samsara. So three times larger, it is not exactly, need not be three times larger, but three times larger means the samsara itself is huge, multiple universes, multiple aspects and so on. Three times larger Vaikuntha, how will that be? That will be so huge, it will be unimaginably huge and it will have several places in it. Many gardens, many rivers, many trees, flowers, fruits, many different varieties, mandapas, gokuras, vimanas, trees, rivers and so on. So many different aspects which we see here. In multitude we will see in Sri Vaikuntha. Now whether it is Goloka or Saket Dham or Sri Vaikuntha, that is up to each Sampradaya, they have certain terminologies which are specific for them. They have certain ways of explaining things. So, in some cases it may be called as Goloka. In some cases it may be called as Sri Vaikuntha. If that is what they mean, if the intent is about Vaikuntha or Parampadam, then that is, it can be called by any name as shown in certain Pramanams. But other than that, Vaikuntam itself is a huge place, a collection of various planets and it may have various regions also. Yeah, sometimes it is said that in one incident Parashara Bhattar will say, if I don't see Sri Ranganatha, I will, if I don't see Sri Ranganatha in Sri Vaikuntam, I will make a hole and jump out of Sri Vaikuntam and come to Sri Rangam, come back to Sri Rangam. We see that Parashara Bhattara has not returned, so we can assume that Sri Ranganatha is also there. So, Bhagavan can manifest in so many different ways, in so many different forms, in so many different um, decorations, in so many different costumes, in so many different bhavas, for the sake of his bhaktas, his devotees, and interact with them in so many different ways. So we cannot say that Vaikuntam is lacking in this, Vaikuntam is lacking in that. Nothing will be lacking in Vaikuntam. Everything will be complete. The term itself means that there is no shortcoming, there is no fault in Vaikuntam. So that is how Vaikuntam is. We have to depend on existing Shastram, and uh, Pramanams for how Vaikuntam looks and we see that it is described, narrated in Sri Vaikuntha Stavam, Sri uh, Vaikuntha Gadhyam and so on. So that is about this question on Vaikuntam.
ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டு லேர்ன் சச் வேல்யூபிள் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அபவுட் அவர் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ சம்பிரதாய பிளீஸ் டவுன்லோட் கோயில் கே ஓ வை ஐ எல் ஆப் ஃப்ரம் கூகுள் பிளே ஸ்டோர் ஆர் ஆப்பிள் ஆப் ஸ்டோர் அவர் வெப்சைட் இஸ் கோயில் டாட் ஆர்க் கே ஓ வை ஐ எல் டாட் ஓஆர்ஜி